Good afternoon, Builder News. This is uh, Builder News. You can watch web help web builders help other web builders. My name is Breck, but anyone can submit a try. I just saw something interesting on Hacker News. Oops, wrong website. Here we go. Um, where was it? Oh my goodness, Data Commons. Let's take a look. Data Commons aggregates and harmonizes global open data, giving everyone the power to uncover insights with natural language questions. I used to work at Our World in Data. Um, so Data Viz is one of my fortes. Forts? <laughs> average NASA average temperature. Anyway, let's see. So I'm intrigued. Let's see. Tell me about the economy in Brazil. Which kind of US have the most smoke pollution? That sounds interesting. Let's take a look. Okay, so what do they do? We've got some type of query here, and then what are we using for data viz? It's a little slow. Kind of a lot going on. Maybe they want to do some type of lazy loading. Um well they are lazy loading. Yeah, it's a little a little laggy. Um, what are they using for their data viz? What is this? Okay. A lot of, really don't need all these buttons, I don't think. <laughs> I think, I think up and down is n enough. I think you don't need these three. Um... Now, if I inspect element on this guy, what, what, oh my goodness, this is really slow. Sorry, it's like, not, not my computer, this is laggy. What are they using for their database software here? What is a package? Explore.js, jQuery bootstrap. Are they using, like, what is it? What? Data routes, what am I looking at? What is base JS? React, just a bunch of React, what? Okay, so, not sure what they're using for data viz here. It certainly doesn't look like this. <laughs> um, scatter plot. So, you know, they might want to use, what's it called, um, Sandance. Look at Sandance. Um, maybe they use Sandance for for this thing right here. I mean, Sandance is fantastic. Now, it looks like they've got some nice shading on this one. I don't think Sandance has that, but maybe not. Other organizations with a data commons. An initiative from Google. Oh, this is Google? Jeez, I would not have expected this to be Google. Oh, this one's fast. How is the other one so slow? This one's blazing fast. Yeah, okay, this is what I would expect. <laughs> okay, now let's try it. Tell me about the economy in... Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, this is this is great unemployment right here. These are great chats, charts, chats. Okay, wait, why? Why was the first page I clicked on so bad? That's strange. I don't know what was going on. Looks like now it looks fine. Something about those charts are, are slow. Um.
So I feel like what it's still kind of complicated. You know, a lot of things. It's kind of a hodgepodge of things. Um, which isn't necessarily bad. It's fine. What is the GDP? In? What is the GDP? In there? Um, so I guess my question is I feel like you should really simplify, get rid of all this stuff, right? You really put the problem front and center, Google style. Like, um, obesity rates USA. Oh, that's cool. The little map. Puerto Rico's on there, even. 25%. 1 in 4. Oh, my goodness. This is good. This is really good site. Data Commons. Not the most catchy name. <laughs> but. Daycom. Just call it Daycom. Daycom. I don't know what you call it. Just I'm sure. Um, something about this, like cube. The cube. Call it the cube. Just give it a... Data Commons is kind of... It's a little blah. For something as cool as this, it's a little blah of a name. Um, anyway. GDP of U.S. states. That's not the right word, but per capita income, I think, is what I wanted. Show me the state map. Chain? What does that mean, chain? I don't know. Cool. I like it. I like it. Good stuff. All right. Interesting stuff. It feels like it's. Uh, I don't know. I'm, my guess is this is just kind of like a research playground for Google to find ideas to put into the main Google search engine. Not sure, but it's cool. Good stuff. Cheers.